everyone welcome back to creatively crafted life this is Melanie and I have another scrapbook layout for you today um, involving my vacation album to the Dominican Republic which was back in 2011 and yes I know I'm finally getting around to it I think this is the third installment in this album that I'm sharing with you and um, today I am focusing on so one page layout and it's all about the view from our hotel room I'm still using the Bow Bunny collection, so this is an older collection. I'm gonna hold that up here. Um, I don't think you can get it. It's, I think, at least from 2011, <laughs> if not earlier. Um, but it's mostly just blues, greens, and oranges that I'm using. So if you uh, like that kind of look, um, look for something current that, that has that similar feel to it. So I knew I wanted to get four photos on, and the two middle photos are actually, they're. They're kind of a panoramic, except it didn't really line up exactly right. So I wanted those two to be beside each other so that you could kind of get the feel of a panoramic without it actually being one. And then um, the top photo is of the pool that you can see in the middle right photo. And then um, the bottom one is the photo of the um, unit where our hotel was, or our hotel, our, our room was located. And I knew I wanted all four on the one page, and um, so I decided to go with this kind of cross or T kind of look. And in order to make it easier when I was trying to lay things behind it, I just applied a little bit of glue on the overlapping sections so that I could pick up the photos and move them as a whole. Hopefully that makes sense. So then I just went through and looked at some of my scraps. And so I had this um, cut apart that I had cut some bits of pieces out already. And I thought, oh, that would make a great um, corner section. So that's what I'm playing around with here. The top right hand is some chipboard from the same Bow Bunny collection. I really like the way that looked and that pretty much stays for the rest of the layout. I don't play around with that too much. You'll notice on the left hand side, I have um, the layout that I did previously uh, about the pool that we hung out for the most time. And I have it there just because these are gonna be um, beside each other in the album. It's not meant to be a two page spread per se. Um, they are independent standalone um, layouts, but I do want them to work together if that makes sense. I normally don't care too much about that in my normal, you know, um, annual album I you know you get whatever it is is and wherever it falls it falls and I don't worry too much about how they look beside each other but for a themed album like this I do like the two facing pages to um, at least look like they belong now obviously I'm using the same collection so inherently the colors are going to be the same across the pages and and um, that should make it easy but what you see me doing here is adding a little bit of white to this particular page. Because the facing page has a white base, there's a lot of white space on it or a lot of white showing. And I just wanted to balance that out a little bit on the on what's gonna be the right hand side of the two pages in, in my album. So I just took some scrap, I think this is probably Whisper White from Stampin' Up! And I just, you know, I'm trying to lay it behind there um, to see where it falls. And I didn't want to have any little bits of white peeking up like in that um, top there right where my finger is. I don't like that little bit peeking through the flowers. So we're going to trim this down a little bit so that hopefully um, we can avoid that little bit of white um, showing up there. It doesn't really add anything in my opinion. And um, so let's just not make it happen. So we're going to tuck this behind. The bottom um, left, you can see I took that cut apart. It says, I believe it says just another day in paradise on it. It's got some palm trees, so it's already quite decorative. And then I have this label that I had cut in half and half of it's at the bottom and that's what I'm going to use for uh, my journaling about this particular about this particular page. So we're just testing out the floral piece again, the floral chipboard to see if um, that's gonna work. And I still have a little bit peeking through, so we're just gonna trim that off at an angle so that um, nothing shows through. And I quite like the way that that has turned out. 
So this is the top part of the cut apart tag that I trimmed and we're going to put that in the top section. I'm just trying to decide exactly where I want it. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to, it to align with the bottom or if I wanted to treat it as a completely separate um, element, I guess. I don't really like where it is right now. Uh, that white gap between the tag and the photo really bothers me, but I don't have any ideas at this point, so I'm just going to move on. So I was looking at the chipboard and there was this piece um, with the sun and the palm tree and barefoot, um, I think barefoot and blissful or something like that it says. So I thought that would go good down at the bottom to kind of balance out the really heavy chipboard floral piece in the top right corner. I had a little bit of um, paper left over from the bottom section, again from that cut apart. I thought maybe we could make that work up in the top corner, not too sure. So now I'm going back to that cut apart sheet, seeing what else I've got left. And there's this little um, floral journaling box that I think is gonna work a little better, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna test this around a little bit to see, um, see what's what. Yeah, not too sure. Trim a little bit off, see if I can get it to go under the photo a little bit more. Put that tag back there. Again, a lot of fiddling. I never really know what I'm doing. It's more trial and error a lot of times. So I'm happy with the chipboard down at the bottom, so we are gonna glue that down. Now this is self-adhesive chipboard, but that stuff does not stick. I don't know why they can't get it sorted out, but they can't. So I always add a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi at the bottom just to, or underneath it, just to make sure it sticks good. And I am, very comfortable with the floral chipboard being up in the top right corner, so we're gonna adhere that as well. I'm looking through my rubber embellishments, I think that's what they are, um, just to see if there's anything there that I could possibly use. There's the word beautiful, there's this tag that says hello. I thought, well, maybe I could layer that on top of the, the journaling tag. I'm not too sure. So again, when I don't know, I move on to something that I do know. In this case, I thought I would go ahead with my journaling and just write that in. I'm going to spare you from having to watch me <laughs> write all of that. But basically, it's just this was our view from our hotel room. Um, we had a little bit of a patio and um, or a balcony, and we quite often would come here after the day and have a you know, a drink or a beverage or something and just kind of chill before we cleaned up for the evening. This is a really, really old uh, dimensional sticker from Kane Company. And I liked the camera, did not like what was inside, which was a sailboat, didn't really work um, for this particular uh, spread. So I thought I would take um, a large orange rhinestone or jam or whatever you want to call it and just fill that in so that you don't see it. I also um, found this little word label again on the back side. It had uh, foam dimensionals behind it, but because I'm layering it over top of a chipboard, I just peeled off some of that dimensional um, and added a little bit of glue. So where it's not on the chipboard, there is some, and where there isn't, it's just a glue. This is from the Crate Paper Oasis collection. It was a newer collection from last year. And just trying to see if there's anything on here that I, um, can use. I do have to apologize for the lighting in this particular video. As you can see, I've got this quite bright beam of light on the left hand side. I was filming this during the day and the way my apartment is, it faces west and so in the afternoon I get some pretty intense light that comes through and while I do have blinds, unfortunately the light still sneaks through and I end up with this streak across my um, my video so sorry for that unfortunately there wasn't much I could do other than not videotape or not scrapbook so I decided it was better to go ahead than not these are really old I don't even know I don't even know if I can tell from here who they're from super super old I really would love to use these up so I'm making an effort to try and um, get as many of those on my pages as possible. These are from Kaiser Craft. They are um, some brads again. They've got the blues and orange and greens in there, similar to what is in the Bow Bunny collection. So I thought um, I could use some of those on here. And I'm really treating these kind of like what 
would currently be used, which would be enamel dots. Um, I'm just kind of plugging those in wherever you would possibly put an enamel dot in. And I'm looking to see if there's anything else I need to do. And that white is really bothering me. It's um, too stark. And if you'll notice the tag, the journaling tag and the cut apart sheet has a navy border around it. So I thought I would take my navy pen as opposed to a black pen and um, just outline that. Unfortunately, the fine tip on this pen wasn't generating any ink so I flipped it around and used the brush tip which of course gave it a bigger or a thicker weight of line and it wasn't exactly the same blue as everything else so what I thought I would do is just carry that blue over onto those other embellishments to tie it together so that's what you see me here doing here is just making the line weight the same and also taking the color across. So to wrap up this video, I'm just going to leave you with some close-ups as well as some photos. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you did like this uh, video and enjoyed it, please give this a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave a comment below. And until next time, happy crafting.